Welcome back to Legend Danny and welcome to Golden Mile Food Center. Another weekend, another hawker. This hawker center is located only five minutes walk from Nickel Highway MRT station and it splits into two floors. It has so many beautiful, amazing stalls and we're gonna enjoy some food. Let's go. Our food tour starts today with Chongcheng's Chili Mi. This is not just any prawn noodle shop, but this is the best chili mi place you can get chili mi from. The most special thing here is their house-made chili. They add this belachan chili very generously all over the noodles. You can choose between $4 or $5 bowls. The $5 bowl has an additional topping of prawns and pork ribs. I went with me pork noodles as this is my favorite type of noodles in general for dry noodle bowls. Each bowl comes with pork ribs, prawns, tau bok, fish cake slices, hard boiled eggs and of course the noodles. But the most important thing is the signature chili that they put all over the bowl. If the noodles are a little bit too hard, you can add a little bit of soup into the noodles to flatten and soften them up so you can mix it all up better together. Let's dig in. Springy, delicious mee pot noodles. Let's try the prawns here. Mm. And really taste the freshness of the prawns. Mm. The prawns are very plum and juicy and have a bitier texture to them. Moving on to the soft bone pork ribs. Mm. Mm. Wow. These pork ribs are so flavorful and sweet and so soft. Another highlight of this dish is their soup. Normally the accompanying soup is just like a very plain soup with maybe a light prawn taste. But this soup tastes like it has a lot of different spices, it has a strong pepper kick to it, slightly sweet herbally and very rich. Taking a spoon of this broth in between your bites of noodles and pork and prawns really gives it a great combination. After eating a couple of bites, the chili might really get to you. Quite spicy and fiery. All in all, I think this chili mee with prawns, pork ribs is super delicious. Next dish, Dapo curry chicken noodles. You can choose between five, six and seven dollar portions. I went for the basic five dollar portion and it's huge. The bowl is huge with a lot of ingredients. The bowl has big pieces of poached chicken, chunks of soft potato, fish cake, cow pork, bean sprouts and pig skin. Very generous amount of ingredients. The curry gravy is fresh and very fragrant with a quite light and drinkable texture. You can taste the milkiness and the spiciness making it really flavorful. On the other hand, it's not too overwhelmingly rich. The chicken is quite juicy and soft and actually sweet. At the same time, it has a very springy and tender consistency. Mm. The chicken is really good. These potato chunks are so big, but nice and soft. Definitely a dish to recommend if you love chicken, light curry gravy, and fish cake and all these nice ingredients in here. Yummy! Next to the Dapo curry chicken noodle stall, we saw another stall which looked very nice. This is Liangxia Street prawn noodle. So another noodle which has pork ribs and prawns inside. In this case, I'm trying the soupy version and let's see how this tastes. Mm. It's a hearty bowl of broth with umami, prawn and pork rib flavor. It has a hint of sweetness coming from the fresh prawns and the saw has a very friendly owner, a very old uncle actually. He was very friendly talking to us and yeah, super nice guy. Oh, I really enjoy the broth because it's so hearty. A lot of lean pork, quite nice, tender and sweet meat. Mm. And the prawns are pre-peeled, very easy to eat, quite nice.
Another dish we're trying today is the cha kui tiao. This is a fiery, charred, smoky type of noodles which are cooked in super hot fire under the wok. This gives it the very highly sought after wok hei taste. This plate was 520 Singapore dollars. It comes with four relatively big prawns. It comes with a lot of greens and veggie on top, which actually I have not seen so much in other chocolate Kui Tiao dishes. For those of you who do not love cockles, you can just tell the auntie that you don't want them not inside the dish. Then she will give you a plate without cockles at all. Let's dig in. Next to the woke taste, it also has a kind of sweet taste to it, probably from the sweet soy sauce. Prawns are plum and juicy. In between, just get a nice coconut shake. Mm. To refresh and cool down your body. One of our last dishes today will be Ashes Burned Burger, which is a halal burger with black charcoal buns. As the stall is quite frequently visited, they are continuously frying new batches of fries, thick cut fries actually. So which means that whenever you order, you will actually get hot and nice crispy fries. Let's give this burger a try. This is a single smash cheeseburger. The patty is very juicy, very nice sauce with the cheese and the fried shallots in there. I will say, very decent burger and a good price. Can try! Our food tour is gonna come to an end very soon. We are here having these old school traditional Tang Yuan in ginger soup. Three Tang Yuan glutinous rice balls of black sesame fillings and three with peanut fillings. First, trying off the soup. I love the gingery and spicy kick of this soup. Soothing for the heart. sesame grainy puree kind of sesame paste. It's not too sweet. Peanut is also pretty good. I think it was a very decent meal today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.